I'm Caitlin Henderson from Waffle TV, bringing you the best of the fringe, and today joining me is DJ Tom Laos. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. So, tell us a bit about your show, Hot Tub, Hot Dub Time Machine. Hot Dub Time Machine. Not to be confused with the film. <laughs> no, no, for copyright. No, it's very, very different. Yeah. Um, well, Hot Dub Time Machine is the world's first time traveling dance party, okay. and we're traveling back in time to 1954, and then powered by the dancing, the awesome dancing of everyone in the room, we travel through time back to 2012. So we've got like a song for each year and there's power up dance moves that people can use. Um, and basically it's the uh, biggest, baddest, hottest party at the end of the fringe. Wow, you really sold it there. <laughs> <laughs> you should go. <laughs> so is this your first time at fringe? Um, it's my first time performing at the fringe, yeah, but I've been here a couple of times before. Yeah. So, yeah, so all the way from Sydney? Indeed. Yeah, just for Indeed. the fringe, that's good dedication. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's very, I, I uh, um, the Hot Dub Time Machine is a relatively new thing. I've been DJing for a long time. Yeah. Um, and I was used to DJ as part of comedy shows and stuff. But I um, made Hot Dub Time Machine a year ago and we did it at the Sydney Fringe and it sold out there. And then we went to Adelaide and, and it just went crazy. Yeah. Really, we ended up, you know, selling 120% of the tickets and it was this really big deal. And so then we got invited to come to Edinburgh. Now I'm here. Do you like Edinburgh? Oh, I do. It's amazing. <laughs> What's the best thing about Edinburgh? Um, the guys with their shirts off walking around. <laughs> no, it's, I don't uh, know if that's the best thing. I know the best thing about Edinburgh is definitely the meadows. I, yeah. uh, I love it in that. I, um, Hang and, out there a lot. Yeah, because we're living in Marchmont and I have this sort of mobile DJing rig. Oh, it's in a awesome. wheelie bin um, to try and, because I don't like firing, so that's my thing. I just yeah. go and play tunes. Yeah. And so I just go down to the meadows, oh, play some music. You get a lot of fans. With yeah, it's really it. fun. Yeah. You get to meet all the cool locals and that's stuff. That's a good idea, yeah. So you perform um, at night time as well, so you must be shocked at during the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you do not get to see much of the fringe or? Um, yeah, well, kind of, I, I yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I am. It's, it's very intense because the room I'm playing in is, is very hot. So yeah. It's a very proper sweaty nightclub. Nice sweat so, Yeah, like my body just, it's, it's horrendous actually, the dehydration that I go through. But, um, but yeah, but no, I've got three days off now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so I'm That's trying to see awesome. some stuff. Yeah. And so why, why Edinburgh Fringe? Like, why not just DJ in general? Like, why do that coming through Fringe? Uh, we it, it's, it's Edinburgh Fringe, you know. It's 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 the it's uh, I really think it's one of the, the great cultural icons of the modern world. Like we're it, 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 yeah, it, 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 there's nowhere else in the entire world that has this kind of um, concentration of creativity and art, and and uh, I want to be part of that. And as an Australian, if you if you don't prove yourself yeah. at the Edinburgh Fringe in the UK, you might as well not bother coming over. Well, you haven't really done anything, so you gotta you gotta come to Edinburgh. Yeah, and so. Um, when did you get into DJing? Uh, about 2000, 2001 is when I bought my first turntables. Oh right, so yeah. is it just a hobby that you just like um, Well I think it's, I think, uh, yeah, it's just something I love, absolutely, because I always wanted to do it. And it just kind of gradually evolved. I spent like the first five years pretty much DJing in my bedrooms and then I would DJ in bars, but I was never really fit into any particular club scene because I, I have a very short attention span. I don't like to play <laughs> just house music or yeah. just anything like that. I like to play the Beatles and then dubstep and a, a, yeah. you know, Aretha Franklin and then Waterfalls by TLC or something. And, and so that, it took a long time for me to find a way to do that in a way that works yeah, and so yeah. now so would you say it appeals to a wide audience like yeah yeah got quite a mix of the beatles in there with the well that's that's what there. yeah i feel really really passionately about yeah. that but there's not enough places for everyone to go yeah. and dance like um i think everyone enjoys having a dance to really yeah. good music but clubs, people need somewhere to dance to yeah, yeah. <laughs> old people even be my age like people in their early 30s and stuff oh no i was thinking like way older. i know i was thinking like my parents age. yeah 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 and they do they can they come along too they tend yeah. to go home in about 1980 but that, and that's okay <laughs> But um, yeah, like because the, the clubbing scene and DJing is it's really snobby. Like you kind of feel like yeah. you can't if you're not in the scene, you can't yeah. go along. Yeah. But you just want to have a good time and hear good music. Yeah. So um, yeah, I want I really want to make parties that are you don't have to dress up, you don't have to be cool, you don't have to put in any effort. Just come and rock out. Yeah, I think you sold it quite well there. Oh, good. <laughs> Basically, anyone can go along. So if you want to go see him, he's on at the Gilded Balloon till the 27th of August. At midnight, yes? That's right. Yeah, we'll be there at midnight. Thank you very much. No worries. Pleasure. Thank you.